What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Thank you for joining me on another project. Stay tuned and I'm going to tell you what we're going to build today. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. You turn. Today we're going to be building a black soldier fly larvae bin. You guys, black soldier flies are a beneficial insect. They do not bite, they don't spread disease, they don't sting, they don't even have mouths, but are very full of all kinds of nutritional things. Now when I had chickens, I had a huge black soldier fly larvae bin back on the back side of my property. That thing is rotten, so Joe and I are going to build one from scratch. Yes, I said Joe. Joe from My Things To Do. If you've been with me long enough, you know exactly who that is. And we're going to do a collab I already today. got my wood here. We went to Lowe's and got the wood. It was um, about 80 bucks for all the wood and stuff. If you have scrap wood at home, of course use that first. But I didn't have any scrap plywood, so I had to get that fresh. I had it cut down to some smaller manageable sized chunks because it wouldn't fit in my car we're gonna get this project started let's go all right y'all we got our plywood here i had these cut down to two feet by four feet and our bin is going to be four feet long two feet wide i think we said three feet deep it might not be that deep about two or three feet deep and i think that's it two feet wide four feet long and three feet deep so what I'm going to do is get some cut down some two by fours and I'm going to take and make a frame around the outer edge of this that way I have something to screw my sides into so I got my two by four here I'm going to cut two short ones and two long ones the guy that cut this wood, he was in the most horrific mood and not a happy person for whatever reason. So the cuts are not exactly two feet. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. But it does make, it makes measuring things a little bit more tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the board itself as my device to see how long to cut these pieces of wood here. I'm going to start with my two short ends first. So I'm just going to lay this piece of wood on top here. Make sure it's even on this side, at least even on one side. And then make my mark here. And that's where I'm going to cut that off at. That's for side one. And I'm going to put this, a number on that side one. And we'll cut this down after we get on our safety gear, of course. And be right back. This. There we go. Yep. Yeah, so flat. Okay, it's right on the edge. There we go. All right, we got our first two boards cut what we're going to do is we're going to put some screws right across here and then we're going to do that on both ends and then measure for the long board that's going to be in the middle there and I'm going to be using one and one quarter inch screws now what we're going to do is we're going to take this board flip it over and measure for this middle part Oh wow, hey, nice look how good I cut. Yeah, that one fits. Can I make this one too long? I did. How did I do that? Hang on, hang on. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh. So it's got a little bit of flex, so I can. Oh, okay. Flex it, get it even. That's gonna be nice. Alright, let's flip this thing over. 
hold that board so it don't slide. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't grab it from the bottom. There we go. Might have to reposition the board. Alright, so, so now what do we do here? This feels good and solid now. Remember earlier it was all yeah. rickety and kind of flimsy? In the middle. Yeah, yeah, that thing is rigid as I don't know what. Okay, I like that. so now we can move on to the next step. We can start working on the walls. So of this, this is thing. the bottom? This is the bottom. Okay. This is our foundation. Awesome! Now we got our platform done. That's going to be the bottom. Now we can work on the sides and figure out how how to make the sides, how deep we want it, how tall we want it, and all that good stuff. So this is where our brainstorming is going to come oh, in. It's so hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we got it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a frame around the outside. I need to cut some 2x4s that are going to be 2 feet tall. We decided we're going to make it 2 feet tall. 2 feet tall. 2 feet tall and then put the boards on the inside of the 2x4. See what I'm trying to uh, um, avoid y'all is these 2x4s are pressure treated wood and I don't want that to come in contact with the stuff that the bugs are going to be eating because we don't want those chemicals and arsenic in the food source. No. No. We don't want that. So from the outside we're going to build a frame up. We're going to have Joe cut us either let's see one two three four probably six we'll do one in the middle okay. and one on each corner and then one in the middle okay. to put our, our uh, framing brace up I guess we'll call it the frame okay to put the frame up I'm going to be using three inch screws on this Go to the left or right. Wait a minute, let me see that screen. Because I'm trying to avoid you getting that one. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, it won't go. It won't hit it. Put it in where you want. Put, put, uh, we're going to do one at the here and then we'll do one diagonally. Okay. Do that. Go down a little bit more. Go down a little bit more. There you go. Do this one too. Okay. I'll hold the board. <laughs> oh. Don't put your hand so close to it. Okay. okay. All right, y'all got my guide edge on there to help me keep my line straight. All right. Yeah, it's looking good. This is good. awesome. 
I think this is a good stopping point for okay. today. So that, uh... All right, well, we're going to stop for today and uh, pick this back up again. Um, in a couple days from now. In a couple now. of days. Y'all, this has been an adventure. Um, I always like doing projects with Jo. She's a lot of fun. <laughs> she keeps things interesting and entertaining at the same time and fun. So this has been fun. We're gonna, running out of daylight, and we're going to pick this project up in a couple days. And um, we're going to finish this thing on our, our, at the next. Next time you see us, we're going to be finishing this up. That's going to be great. You can get yeah. it filled up with some food and uh, yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Ah. It's coming together quite nicely. Iggy and Ericor are going to be so happy. I haven't even told them yet. They're going to be so excited. <laughs> okay. Look, my dragons understand. Okay. As <laughs> long as they understand. All right, y'all. We'll see you in a couple days. All right, y'all. We're going to get back into this, and we're going to complete this thing today. We're trying to beat the rain now. It looks like it might rain. Don't know. Can't tell. But we got Joe is back. Pretty and purple. <laughs> okay. We just absolutely have to look fabulous while doing a build. <laughs> and me. Hmm. Yeah. I just dress it down. All right. Now, what we need to do is I just have that piece of wood leaning up against there. We're going to put our two sides and our top on today. So, first thing I need to need to do is cut down this side I might have enough to do both sides I don't know we'll see that'd be nice if we can just cut that in half and do both sides and then we need to think about the lid so I still have quite a few pieces of plywood here that we can make our lid out of and we're going to continue on first thing I'm going to do is line this up with the edge of the actual box mark a line on this side cut it down and see if it the Leftover piece will fit on the other side. If not, then we got that piece of wood right there. All right, let's do this. You ready? Now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks good. Yeah, perfect. This sure is. Yeah, yeah. really well. All right. <laughs> Sides. We got our sides done. This one's a little bit wider, but that's okay. That does that extra overhang is not going to matter at all. So now, before we put this side on, we need to start thinking about the ramp. Okay. So that's the ramp that the, the larvae are going to actually crawl up to go into the bucket. Right. Okay. So when black soldier fly larvae are ready to pupate into adults. They, their mouth, their feeding mouth closes so they have no, no exits, no ins and no outs. And when they reach that stage, they get dark. They get like a dark brown color or dark black. And from there, they start leaving the food source. So they start seeking to climb upwards. So they start looking for a way out. So what we're going to do next is provide that ramp. And they'll crawl up the ramp and fall into our, this is the collection bin. And this right here is just a little Dollar Tree, um, what is this, what do they call it? A dish pan, a Dollar Tree dish pan. And we'll collect them in this. Okay, well, we found a use for one of the pieces of scrap leftovers. We're going to have the ramp maybe like this, maybe at a little bit of a steeper incline. But we're going to cut this down. I know it's fitting in here this way, but when I turn it that way, it won't go in. So, we want to cut this down and fit this in there and maybe put it at, maybe about an angle about like that. Moment of truth. I hope I made this just wide enough. Yes! It works! It works! Okay, now. Alright y'all, we've determined that this right here is going to be our incline for the ramp. We don't want to make it too steep. So, about like that. Let's see. Let me measure for you how high that is. It is... 
it's right at about eight and a quarter inches from the bottom from the bottom side about eight and a quarter inches and we took I had two pieces of scrap two by four there's one piece there one piece there and those are I'll tell you how long those are just in case you need that they're 12 inches one's 14 inches so truly scrap wood and what we did was we took two screws and screwed it from the outside we screwed it from the outside in and then got my ramp up there that looks good right now it's free floating I haven't tied this down yet because what we need to do now is put a brace from here to here on this end and probably one in the middle yep from there to there in the middle just to give this some um, rigidity especially on the sides here because we don't want these sides moving and collapsing in on the whole box you take some inside measurements it's gonna be 22 and three quarters so I'm going to cut our first little piece of 2 by 4 22 and what I say? 3 quarters. 22 and 3 quarters. I'm going to check. I have some scrap wood down here. I'm going to check down there and see if I have anything from there that I can use. Here's, here's one. Alright, so we're going to cut this 22 and 3 quarters or will it fit just, just like that? What? It might fit just like this. Oh. It does. Hey, check that out. Look, all I need to do is screw it. <laughs> yes. Well, drill it, whatever you do. With thing. All right. Look at that. Oh, Found yes. a piece that fits right in there. Like I said, y'all, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just, we're just collecting bugs here. And this is 24 inches wide. So we're going to use that. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just or has perfect. to work. <laughs> Or perfect. Or, or perfect. That's my motto. It doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. And you know mine. It's my things to do. Make it your thing to do too. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so the next inside brace is 23 inches. So we're going to put in our second brace. First, we're going to drill, drill some pilot holes. Drill our two pilot holes. Nice. I'm going to try and position this so that we have the least amount of gaps. If I do it like that, there's a gap down there on, on the right side. There's a bit of a gap there, and we want to try to eliminate that. There we go. Nice and flush on the bottom, so we're going to screw that in just like that. Our next step is to work on this door. I'm going to put hinges on this side, and the opening is going to be on that side, and we have some latch, or a latch. We bought a latch to put on that side. So first thing I'm going to do is... Get the hinges lined up over here. I'm going to be using these 3 inch utility hinges. Got these at Walmart for about $3 or so. When using hinges you want to make sure you place it where you're going to put it before you screw anything in. You want to make sure that you have the hinge facing the correct way. I have put hinges on backwards before. So, um, All right, you want to demo your hinge handiwork? There you go. Boom and boom. Okay, so the screws were coming out through the other side on this piece of wood. So I took some fence board scraps and put up there so that we're not scraping ourselves on that screw. That's why that's there. Now we're going to work on the latch on the opposite side. This right here, a swivel hasp lock. Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to put up some scrap 2x4 right there just to build that up and push it out.
out this way and then we'll put the latch on. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a second. So the way this works is you'll have one side screwed to here, the other side's going to be screwed on here, this side, but in order for that to happen, I have to have a little bit of space here. You know what? We might just do it this way. Oh, hey, then you only need one. Yes. Boom. <laughs> just made that a whole lot easier, didn't we? Yes. See what you can come up with when you're just working it out? Yes. Put that there. One on that end, one on this end. All right. All right, so first thing we need to do is screw this from this side into the 2x4. Joe, you want to do the honors? Okay, I've got the hasp on there. It's not perfect. There's a little bit of a gap. I could probably readjust this, but I want gaps in there anyway so that the adult flies can get in there. We're just trying to keep any outdoor critters like coyotes and raccoons and possums out of this thing here and this right here is going to work right. perfectly next thing we're going to work on is dun, 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 the lid and i had to come up with a way okay let me come around to the side and show you what i'm talking about so the leftover scraps you see that gap there we don't want that gap there. We don't want rain to get in this bin and drown our BSF or black soldier fly larvae. So I have a leftover piece of this siding from my barn renovation and we're going to use that to fill in the gap here and we're going to run a bead of caulk around along the back side of that just to give it some more rain proofness. So first thing I need to do is measure this door, get it cut down to size. A little bit of overlap is good. Can you slide that even, that end even with the two by fours? Yeah, there we go. Right there. That's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah. Alright. Now we're going to put these hinges on this back side. I'm going to be using this one. And Joe uses the electric one so we can both be doing this at the same time. That means she wants to hurry. Yeah. <laughs> this build is taking a while. <laughs> No, I just have to learn to slow down. I'm so used to just doing it and going and yow, 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 and getting it done. And I know sometimes I need to take the time to explain stuff. Oh man, these aren't big enough. The big ones aren't big enough? They're too short. Oh, they sure are. Well, we'll be doing the roof another day. I can't just slide it on and off. I mean, why am I, I mean, I need it for the food, right? You gotta put food in there. Okay, so can I just slide it? You and not put food? hinges? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Okay. And to secure it, we can just put some bricks down. Okay. To keep it on there. Okay. Wow, that just made things so much easier. Yeah. So, I'm gonna take a piece of this scrap siding that I had left over. I'm gonna cut that down and then we're gonna put this up and get this build done. Done. We're no, done. We're, we're not done. done. We got the legs on this thing. Okay. All right. So we're doing this easy. 
we I've got four bricks and we're just going to set this on the ground on the four bricks. Done. Take my hearing protection out now. Can I take off the mm. eye protection? Yes, we're going to take all this stuff off. Whew. All right, y'all. So we were going to put legs on it, so we decided to go the easy route. And Joe's walking in front of my shot. Thank you. <laughs> and we're just going to set this on the ground. I got four, four of those red bricks there. Got four red bricks there. We're going to just set it up on those. And it's going to go way out there. Way out there. Let me zoom you in. It's going to go behind that box there. That was the old Black Soldier Fly Larvae bin. It's all rotten and gone. So we're going to carry this thing out there and set it up. Okay, we are both so done, y'all. It is so hot out here. One thing I have to keep reminding myself is when you're working with someone who's, or you're teaching someone who's not familiar with tools, it's going to take a long time because you have to stop and explain and try and help them get comfortable with the tools and show them how to do the tool, the stuff. So this build wasn't hard. It just took a long time, a lot longer than what I'm used to but everybody starts from somewhere so I started from the beginning myself I wasn't good with tools so Joe was learning but we finally got this thing out here we're both so so tired all right so we got it sitting up on a brick so we got the lid on all we got to do is uh, put some food in there we're not gonna do that right now we have food in the house it's so hot. We're going to go inside, take showers, cool down, come back on out here later this evening and probably dump some food in here and get the bin in there set up. We did not put the little guides on the ramp. We're just too tired to do that right now. Maybe maybe another day I can come out here and, and uh, put some Gorilla Glue and put some little ramp guides there. But... Right now, it's just, oh, just too much. But we got the lid on there to keep the rain out. We don't want rain getting in there, definitely. So that looks good, y'all. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. And we will definitely keep you guys posted on the progress of this project. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to go check out my things to do. I'll see y'all later. Bye.